This is the fourth year that Master and Apprentice have worked together. Before coming here, senior researcher Yang Fan and his apprentice Su Haoxiang took part in many emergency epidemic responses in China. But until now, no Chinese expert had ever come face to face with Ebola. The challenge, however, is what attracts the pair. As the youngest member of the team, I believe it is the most precious experience in my life to join such a major international mission for disease control. By facing the real virus and real mission, the capabilities of all analysts will leap forward. The Ebola detection process is two steps. The team first gathers the virus samples, inactivates them, and extracts DNA. Then the sample, which has become non-toxic, will go through a polymerase chain reaction experiment to record the GN sequence. To ensure safety, the senior researcher always begins the process, and Hao Xiang, the apprentice, joins in second. As a representative of China's detection team, I need to guide the junior researchers and show the world a good image of Chinese disease control experts. Yang and Su are not fighting alone. 59 Chinese disease control experts are serving in West Africa in virus detection efforts, and more experts are coming. On Friday, Chinese Premier Li Keqiang said China will provide over 100 million RMB worth of additional aid, including 60 ambulances, 100 motorcycles, 10,000 prevention care packages, and 150,000 sets of personal protective equipment. Hu Chuxiao, CCTV.